Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have a very interesting little knife to talk to you guys about, and that is none other than the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. I also have to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by White Mountain Knives. Be sure to check them out for all of your knife and EDC needs, and be sure to use this code right here, WSW10, to save 10% off any and every knife you get from White Mountain Knives including this $48.99 set knife or a $500 knife. Whatever you get, you save 10%. It's a pretty darn good deal. Don't miss out on that opportunity. And uh, let's get into this. Let's, this, I tell you what, Petrified Fish, when I heard about Petrified Fish, I thought, okay, Petrified Fish, this is this is very, very different. And I got the Beluga on my channel. Um, and the Beluga was very, a very interesting knife to me. Um, I thought it was a little too big. I was like, man, I, a, a miniature version would be pretty nice. And here we have it. So let's take a look at this knife and go over some overall specs. And we have an overall length of 6.8 inches with a blade length coming in at 2.99 inches and a blade width of 1.08 inches. Blade thickness on this guy is 110 thousandths with a blade material of, to me, a big upgrade, 14C28N, which is much better and highly preferred over the D2 or K110 that was on the original uh, full-size Beluga. Uh, we have a drop point style blade with a flat grind, a handle length coming in at 3.8 inches with a handle thickness of 514 thousandths and a handle width almost a full inch coming in at 980 thousandths and a handle material of G10. There is also some micarta options and a couple other fun uh, handle options that uh, I think right now are kind of hard to find, but I'm sure there is more that are going to be in stock because this is a very, very, this knife was very well received from the community. You have a liner lock locking mechanism with a user of a right or left hand tip up carry, and I love how they did that. We'll talk about that a little more when we get to the handle and ergos of the knife. A weight coming in at 3.37 ounces and a price, as I said earlier, of $48.99. Can't beat that for a uh, good fit and finish and this 14C28N, if it checks all the boxes, $48.99 is a very reasonable, very good deal in my opinion. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons and see just how this knife stacks up to other knives. Let's look at a couple other front flippers. We got a Pena Apache here. Um, may not be one that a lot of people have handled because it's a little more expensive, sometimes hard to find, but they're getting more readily available, so I thought I'd throw that out there, as well as the uh, Wingman EDC Tom Mayo MTNT Mach 3, one of my favorite front flippers of all time. They're coming out with a bigger version of that later this year, which is uh, has me on high alert because I think that's going to be a pretty sweet knife. Um, but as you can see, measures up very well with those two knives. And let's bring in a couple other ones that aren't front flippers, but I think everyone has a very good idea of just how big they are. Well, at least one of them, and the other one, which I, I hope people become acquainted with because it's a pretty darn cool knife. This is the Caviso Outdoor exclusive Best Tech Bandit. You can only get that at Caviso Outdoors, so uh, be sure to keep an eye out for that if you want something a little different. Um, it's worth checking out. And then we also have here the one that everybody knows and I think a lot of people love, the Civivi Elementum. We'll stick that up there. And as you can see, lines up very well with the Elementum as well as the Best Tech Bandit. Um, so really good size comparisons there. I think we everyone has a good idea of just what we're working with now and let's start talking about it. We have a blade that is a drop point blade with a very nice belly and a fuller that, as you guys know, if you've handled the original or if you have one of these mini versions, the fuller is a lot more than just aesthetically pleasing. It's also very, it adds that high fidget level to this knife that we'll talk about more when we get to that action portion of the review. And of course, you also have that 14C28N steel, which is it's really hard to go wrong with 14C28N. High corrosion resistance, good edge retention, overall a very solid blade steel. Um, it really is all the best things about the OG Beluga that has been dumbed down into a smaller version. And it's just a very nice looking and very pleasing blade. 
Um, I, I really don't have any knocks on it. Um, I don't know what that thing is up there. I don't have an issue with it. It almost kind of looks like a rhinoceros. I think it is a rhinoceros. But uh, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. It kind of just looks like blotches on the blade. I, at the end of the day, I don't really care because it's so small and minimal. It's out of the way. Um, it, it doesn't annoy me too much. I just, yeah, I think I literally just figured out that was a rhino because it's uh, just not very clear. But other than that, I mean, I, again, I don't really care that much. Just a very nice functional drop point blade um, with a very nice outline in general in terms of blade profile and a pretty high flat grind that I think is going to be, uh, have some pretty good cutting geometry. And of course, it comes down to an edge of 19,000. So that alone is going to tell you, uh, going to be a relatively slicey blade for you. Going into the handle and ergos, um, the ergos, for the most part, are pretty neutral because, you know, it's it, there's just not a lot going on. But the contoured handles here, um, the contoured handles and the combination of this smooth clip, it really does feel very good in hand. No issues at all with the feel in hand. Really do like the ergos on this a lot for, for as minimal as they are. Um... I love the texture that's pressed onto these scales. It's not much, but you see it, and you do kind of feel it. Um, it's still overall pretty smooth, but you get just that extra little tad bit of texture. I do like that. And, of course, I love the finish on the handle material. It kind of gives you that almost wood grainy. It almost kind of looks like micarta, but this is G10. I was a little surprised to see it, but, yeah, this is G10. Um, and it just looks and feels very, very good. Um, the overall durability of this handle is just as impressive as the original two. Very, very solid, no flex. Um, definitely a great little beater knife, especially at $48.99. It's one you can really put to work. Um, I, in terms of the beluga on the clip, I, I still wish that wasn't there. I, I like my minimal pocket clips. Um, but I also like the fact that this is not a shiny satin. So, you know, kind of you're uh, weighing the pros and cons here. Um, I really do like the fact that it is black and at least the, even though it's white, I wish it was a little darker gray or something or it didn't pop out so much. But nonetheless, the clip overall is a huge win on this knife. Um, it feels great in hand. There's no hot spots, ultra deep carry, and it's reversible. And the way they did that, they just put the slot back there at the bottom of the handle. Um, so the actual look on the show side really doesn't look that bad at all. You don't see any cutouts or anything too obnoxious, just a couple screws. You swap that clip around, um, and it's almost a fully ambidextrous knife. The only difference is the liner lock, which I'm sure lefties are probably used to at this point. You're probably just happy enough that, that you can switch the clip from side to side, and it's a front flipper, so that's completely, um, ambidextrous. It's just the liner lock you gotta get used to. So overall, um, a Pretty ambidextrous friendly knife, pretty lefty friendly knife, obviously fully suited for righties, um, but I think lefties are going to really enjoy this model as well. Um, I may be crazy, but the, the branding on this pivot, I know I complain about it a lot. This, for some reason, it doesn't quite bother me as much as the rest, only because I think it's that metal on lighter gray to where it doesn't pop quite as much. It still does. I still don't love it. But it, it just, it fills it up a little more. I, I don't know. I kind of sound like I'm losing my mind right now. But it's just not quite as bad as the others. The fact that it stands for Petrified Fish alone should probably, you know, you would think I would have a problem with that. But I'm just, I'm just okay with it. I really, and if you can see my face right now, I'm smiling and almost laughing as I'm talking about it. Because it's kind of ridiculous that I make that big of a deal about a pivot. But uh, I don't know. It just, it, it just, it's a unique kind of little Thing for me with this knife. I, I, I try to be as fair as I can, but sometimes I'm just okay with some things. I still wish it would go away, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And the overall execution of this knife was good enough for me to not hate it, but I still wish they'd change it, if that makes any sense at all. Moving on, uh, line and lock access, very good on this guy. Really appreciate that little notch they put in there in the liner lock. It does make a very big difference in going to close that uh, blade down. A lot more user-friendly, very easy to break that, shake the blade shut. And what you have here is a very smooth action. For, for a smaller blade, a three inch blade, fantastic front flipping action. Easy to break that lock, shake it shut. Reach around approved, very, very easy to pull off the reach around on this guy. 
Um, very fidgety, fun knife. And of course, that fuller. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Can we do it? There we go. Very easy. I swear it's not that hard to middle finger flick this blade out. Um, very fun. And just, yeah, overall, a lot of deployment options. So a lot of reasons to like this knife, especially at $48.99. That's a very big reason to like this knife. Um, but it really is the complete package. It's, it's everything that I thought the original Beluga might have been. But it's made better by being in this three inch bladed package really really do like this knife here i think we have um dare i say it a knife of the year contender in the 50-ish and under category uh for 2022 didn't think i'd be saying it about this knife before i took it out of the box but uh it has persuaded me the petrified fish mini beluga guys check it out it's hard to get a hold of right now i know it's sold out quick I, I have to think there's more coming. This is by far the best model Petrified Fish has ever made. Petrified Fish, if you're watching this, make more of these because people will buy them. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.